For decades, rural communities across Nigeria have weathered storms of conflict driven by socio-economic crises, loss of livelihoods, and the impacts of climate change. Hundreds of thousands have been displaced, injured, or lost to communal clashes, mob justice, election-related violence, terrorism, and attacks by armed groups. As insecurity spreads, ethnic and religious groups often find themselves pitted against each other, losing the positive connections they once shared. Acts of revenge, mob justice, or heavy-handed kinetic interventions further fuel this cycle of violence. Every aspect of community life is affected, from farms and markets to schools and homes. Yet, community members have rarely had a platform for sustainable problem-solving. The people most deeply impacted by insecurity have often been the last to be consulted. Their insights, experiences, and capacity to lead have been the missing piece. But change is on the horizon. Through determination and collaboration, empowered communities across Benue, Kaduna, and Zamfara states are transforming their own security. They are working in partnership with those they once thought of as enemies, forging a new way forward hand in hand with decision makers and building sustainable peace. Ni Natasha ni lokacin da Natasha yana yaro na samu mahaifi na baya da kudi yana talauci ya dame shi kuma ga lokaci ya canza na ana so a yi karatu wanga na zamani na yi hunkuri na bi abokai suka taimaka mun na gama yan CE suka taimake ni na an so takardu to mun bi gwamnati gwamnati sai a ce muna wai ma'aikata sun yi yawa to gashi mun yi karatu kuma yanzu kuma babu ainin aikin har ta kai ga wani bawon Allah ya ja ra'ayi na yace in bashi 200 ya nema mana aiki ya bani offer na bashi 200 kuma a haka muka yi noma ni da mahaifina muka zo muka bashi 200 ya cinye ba aikin wannan abin shine yake damun rayuwa na har ya kai ga muna yin ban gaskiya kuma na zama shugaba a wurin ya zancewa na yi yara in ka so a zauna lafiya ka bani kudi in baka so a zauna lafiya ba kuma zan ya zan riki ta abun dari da yara na lokacin da aka gaito ni ci wannan abun na ci kai da na kamani aikin banza ne amma sai dai na daure na yi zuwa biyu zuwa uku cikin wata anan uku zuwa hudu sai na gano amfanin da ke cikin wannan zaman wancan lokacin zan ma tun karo jama'a wani zaka ga ya kau da kanshi wani zaka ga yana jin tsoro na saboda ni na taso ni hatsabibi ne to amma da na samu wani training da na karatu jama'a sai naji ana zai ai man sallama sai in yi sallama sai mu gaisa sai na ga mutane sun hiso na bisa ga wancan lokaci da nake ci experience da nake amfani da shi na in kallo hatsaniya za ta faru can lokacin muna tafiya mu kan mu yara za mu hadu da wani yaro da kudi ko wani abu to cikin yaran mu za mu kalla cewa ga su can sun tsaya baya kadan dan me dan su tare yaran nan su an sha kudin nan to mun saba da ganin wannan to yanzu da aka samu sasanci da zama lafiya idan na hangi haka ga wani yaro can ya tare wani yara na wani ya tare wani yaro yana son ya yi mashi abin da bai daidai ba sai in tura rana in ce ai sauri ai sauri a kira yaron wancan yazo wurina to ta haka ne 
nake gane cewa hatsane za ta faru sai in yi magana a magance ta duk abin da dan banga sai ya sake so yanzu mun riga mun sani za su ba mu kudi na shayi shayi mai shayi shayi ne mu baya musu bukata amma muka gano ƴaƴan su na makaranta wani na London wani na America kai mu ma ya kamata tun ba mu da aikin gwamnati mu kama sana'a ko mu kama noma ko ciwo wannan za mu dogara da kanmu Idris like other members of the community driven early warning committee plays a crucial role in identifying early signs of potential conflict he collaborates closely with various early response teams including dialogue facilitators who have been extensively trained in the reflective structured dialogue RSD methodology this approach is designed to de-escalate conflicts and lay the groundwork for sustainable peace <laughs> The community-led Early Warning Early Response AWA committee and their vital roles as strengthening community security. They identify early conflict triggers and employ innovative early response techniques, one of which is reflective structured dialogue RSD. Abin da ya faru dai matasan kasan sun je sun kashe sanu sun ma yaro duka sai uban sai ya kira matasan mu ya ce faga abin da ya faru amma su zo fa su je su rama shine matan da ta yi sai ta kira ni sai na gudu na dauka mashin na je na same su na ce me yake faruwa na ga yaron kuma sai suka ce ma ga shi ga shi fi ga su tafi na shanun ma ya ji haushe sai na ce to ku yi hakuri ku yi hakuri idan kun je yanda kuka shirya nan bara ku samu wanda suka yi abun baba wanda za ku samu daban saboda haka ku yi hakuri ku bane aiki ni zan yi kokari na akan ilimin da na samu a wajen RSD goda in gani ko za mu samu nasara shine na je na samu sarkin nayi mashi bayani sai ya ce to a kawo yaron aka kawo yaro lokacin da na shiga ina mashi bayani ma mun kawo yaro yana waje sai na ce ga yaro yana waje ya fito ya fito ya ga yaro ga so lalle gaskiya ne sai ya ce to biri ya kira sarkin kauye ne sai ya kira sarkin kauye sai ya zo sai ya ce to ga abin da ya faru sai ya ce to biri a bashi a bashi lokaci kadan a dauka yaro na kai shi asibiti ya an bashi lokaci kadan wannan sarki zai koma ya yi ginkice zai dawo ya ga mashi ansa shine ya koma muna waje ma sai ya kira mu shi in zo in zo da sarakunan namu ne sai muka zo sai je to ya gane wanda suka yi wannan aiki amma ai hakuri zuwa gobe a zo a tattauna to gobe sai aka zo aka tambaye fulani nawa ne sanin ka ya kama sai yana da rai da yana sai zai kai miliyan to sai sun ce to in zo wannan dai ba rai amma su suna roko a taimaka dan samu ne abu a rage masu sai aka rage masu abu ya zama 1500 sai aka bashi kuri suka biya kuri asibiti yaro aka koma magana ya kare shine sarki ya ce mai ya gode ma na bi fiyon mai ya gode ma community dialogue facilitators use their knowledge of reflective structured dialogue RSD methodologies to conduct peaceful mediations which lead to conflict resolution and social cohesion collaborating with the early warning ewa committee to provide early response to issues before they escalate to conflicts these methodologies are aiding groups and organizations like makban and afan in not only resolving long standing disputes but also in working together to advocate for peace ayo suna kanji mu ferala zinayo vi ikwaya vi oya Vim garam mama pa na oji mo pa o fotolun ji mo nga kwa mo pa ikon e wasan e ya kwa pa ikon pa ibi chicha e pa ikon ha kra ya se chi ana yolo ase ma ba gbede gbo pa we chi ase se pa se chi anwe sa tema tema ji mo pa se kangre kwa ngoba uno banzu se kwa na ha 
Asechi yango o monti le o kangi o gane abemga ya abemga hine tu ato wasigachi ba ba aba we ya abu mara we vihe vihe kuwa eh kuwa mko ba kana abemga ya abu ya se hingulu tema we ba gudiye bo yango se hingulu tema na ha se tema we we se tema ya we kuwa ba kana abemga ana na na ha kuwa we ya elu elu ne yosuga Malu se ke gbenda obem na ha se lama ite ma re tota wase se o ko mimi ha mo na o ko alu mimi ya e ka lu ra ke ke do anyo ho she o to ko amlu ke shi ma o o pia ben ye na be pia ben ga ba ha ma ko che se e alu ko amom o mom na re bi he shi ma a o ga na ga ayo so na alu ya ya lu he chi o nya she chi we so we zan de e bo wa ma se ri pa se gu ma de hi gen se ma gba gere ishure ka ha chu yo nge o gu na wo le ko se o na na ha ko ara ga ba hi ge ko o o kan kan wo yo bo ka ba nyo o se ke nya na ha bi bi se ka na ha se pa mba ya se ba na ge na ha ya e mo zi na bi wa be she nge bi hi pa yi o na ha mo ma hi ge o ko ara hi ya yo so be se ba hi gen e se ba lam se te ma na ha hi gen na ha ya bo pa o fa bo kwa ka su le se kwa ka su le na hi gen na ka se zo wa wa kuna bi hi ya sitema so o se de o o hi gen na hi gen hi no hi gen na na mru wa so se hi kwa mom ya ya mda za hi gen ya kwa kuna da ya ma pefle ma be yira se be wa se se kwa ka lu na ha e o be ma gen ba da ren kwa se yira be se wa be o be ma da be yira be re ren kwa na ha bi yang se wa na ya kwa na bo kwa se ko ko chi ma se lu yuan mom se ko ko shuja na se dan de show local government ba gan ba ya me wa tin de na ida bi hi ko a sha pura la kwa bi hi gro dan eh hi gan hi gan na score so so all na chair se po po ya me de kraton ngo ho ta ha ha ke we e ko a e na ba ka ba e na hanga so wana chair ya ko a kwa ma ayo so ga ko re ko a ga ka brem ka ko re ko a ye na ha ba ngere aba we kwa ba lu mo yo me ngere ko alu mimi ma wo zi he me te e ha ma o kwa pina na na fa ka ko mimi la ya e de ba na ba ye ke she ke he kwa she chu aguma na na ayo so ga ka be lu orun ko mimi la be ayo so wa be ba lu ba orun ko she fi te se e she wo wo ko ka le wo ayo pishi na kwa la ma ka e na be ba ga she mo she ye mo la na gun nu me na kwa lu de ba orun ko mimi ya kwa ma kwa che onu za bo ah he ga na na she mo zam de che ya kwa kwa ma benange ke ko o o ka ite mai la malam she chu be me ba na na ha ko ana na ka ko o gbede gbo ma sete ga ko ana na ko se ma no she ayo so he ye je kwa alu e se mate ma la ma na ya abe be mu no ba lo ka be ma na nze he ma ye yo nga na nze he ma ga The advocacy efforts of the Miyeti Allah Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, MACPAN, and the All Farmers Association of Nigeria, AFAN, not only highlights the power of community-led peace initiatives among farmers and herders, but also help restore community trust in these organizations to hold their members accountable and responsible for maintaining peace measures. Furthermore, through extensive advocacies, communities underscored the media's role in perpetuating stigma, reinforcing narratives which undermine the progress made, emphasizing the importance of reporting accurate and unbiased information. Country people are now welcome. This is not the Peace Radio Show for Brothers FM 90.5 Makoti. Me na Onu Country Sister. My name is Eliza. How na day? The thing we are seeing as a weakness, so a weakness also different level. Say, so, cause any myself, as the media, people they look me, they say, ah, at least as the media, oh, she said, not part of the problem she be myself. They look myself. The reasons I say, I suppose be part of solution. I'm not supposed to be part of people every day. They call the guy begay. Oh, they see begay online, begay on top of TV, they view for TV, begay on top of TV, they hear for radio. Mm -mm. The more where they see, 
The more you dey with me, so the person go go bed for night. Go dey read it, no be sleep. They go say I no support the part of this problem. When the project first enter we state, in rhyme with the correct time where we talk, see this country sister don't be make one resolve. Mm. I attend one training. I learn things. People we know things they do. They begin to help me relate the right way. Because make a good day. Person go feel bad. You know me to say, now nah, how you supposed to resolve matter with that? You know if you use back, solve matter. That's why I begin to learn about sort of they call dialogue. Maybe say two people where the opposing side, please sit down, reason together. Maybe say because they know they work together. Now mm -mm. nah, because they know to say dialogue, now the way to go. One person side don't matter, be different for another person own. No me say one person day wrong, another person day right. So it just me to say they feel they see things from different angles. And that one makes sense. Now so from this training, I begin learning things. I've slept down all day enough again. They call begin to call my radio station. Who they do program? As I begin to anchor the program, it is where I learn said because I call begin to engage with people who know something about peace. They begin to tell me about peace advocacy. Now so if call a call, we talk some kind of thing, harmful stereotype ourselves and say, I better calm down. Calm down because for yet, no be how we they talk and no be how we they reason. Now so as the training take on, I begin to learn book, I begin to learn sense. As people come begin to call, where they answer them certain way for radio. As I could begin to go online, say, we be told say, if I see information, we be like say, na misinformation or na fake news. I know just say see and they walk up past again, you know, and they report that information. Or self, I no go even view one because when you view one, people will be your friends too. They go suggest to them to say this. I don't view one. When we won't use media, the way they use media matter. So they say media is safe now, powerful to be. I suppose no. I they work for media. Me self now part of media I be and you wear the house. The phone where you get. Not too be. So it matter where where with things will they post, the things will they even listen to. And yes, the kind of media where you they share. This work with one person work. Now all of us work it be. We we'll try, make we we'll all do our part. Now like that, we world go better, we area go better, everywhere go so what they go do us to Ignoring fake news and misinformation only allows them to grow, feeding into narratives that can tear communities apart. But the consequences run deeper than physical violence. The constant barrage of fear-mongering leaves communities in a perpetual state of anxiety, paranoia, and fear. Minds become as wounded as bodies, and the mental toll can be just as devastating. As these emotions fester, they set the stage for the next cycle of violence, threatening to plunge the community back into chaos. For many, confronting their trauma is essential before they can engage in meaningful dialogue and reconciliation. As an early response, those in need of mental health support are guided to trained lay counselors who help them begin the wellness process. Gaskia, haka ni ansamu attack akwa ne kimbaya saboda kidnappers ne sun shiga garin mu cikin dare sun kwashi mutane 61 a cikin mutanen da suka kwashe akwai kannin babana guda uku sai kani na guda daya to bayan da aka tafi da wadannan mutanen gaskiya ni kai ne na shiga cikin damuwa to samun training din da nai na lay counseling sai na amfani da wannan dama na controlling damuwa na sannan kuma sai na je na yi kokarin controlling din damuwa wadanda abun ya shafe su na yi nasarar samun abun da nake so saboda kowa ya fahimce ni abubuwan da na koya musu sun yi kuma sun samu nasarar haka bayan haka wadanda suka dawo an saki mutane amma a cikin an kashe mutane bakwai a cikin wadanda aka kashe akwai kanin babana guda daya sannan kuma sai wanda aka harba mutun daya shi ma kanin babana ne sai wanda mutun kuma daya ya dawo sai kani na shi ma guda daya da ya dawo wadanda suka dawo din nan nayi kokarin controlling damuwan su suma 
kuma na samu nasara saboda abubuwan da na koya ma wadannan wanda ya shafe su su ma haka ne kokarin in koya musu kuma na samu nasara cikin kwana 12 sun shiga cikin mutane suna harka da mutane kamar ma sun manta abin da ya faru da su gaskiya na ji dadin wannan abu gaskiya mental health and psychosocial support tana da muhimmanci sosai abin da yasa na ce haka saboda idan an zo magana early warning early, early response idan mutun yana cikin hankalin shi ne zai zauna yayi dialogue to idan baka cikin hankalin ka duk wadannan abubuwan ba zai yi ba shi yasa na ce mental health and psychosocial support sune masu bada kaman taimakon gaggawa phase 8 kenan this crucial step allows individuals to process their pain break the cycle of violence and prepare for dialogue that fosters lasting peace and understanding. We're established particularly to coordinate all the peace response in Benin and also to help the government develop policies and understand the implementation of those policies in terms of peace building and in terms of conflict mitigation and reconciliation. And we have also been able to establish a relationship around the 23 local government with traditional communities working with them and strengthening the institution that they already have, what existed before the kinetic came on board. The future of state and uh, community relationship in terms of conflict mitigation uh, or even reconciliations is totally based on building trust. And how do you build trust? The trust can only be built when we begin to have early warnings, early detections of conflicts, and we mitigate on time. We push response in three minutes, and the people can build the trust that when we, 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 we let them know something is happening, they come to our aid quickly. The Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, which is a federal government lead agency in the area of conflict prevention, conflict resolution, and conflict management, is a non forcible approach, have actually supported a lot of communities over the years, you know, including ongoing um, support we're providing to local communities that are impacted, you know, by different types of conflicts you know, across Nigeria. Um, what we've done is um, one, we support the really level of research in terms of um, providing a very nuanced understanding, you know, of the conflict in respective local communities to be able to um, provide a programmatic pathways, you know, for interventions on how these um, conflicts are minimized. We do advocacy visits also to impacted community areas when um, it has left the level of prevention and when there is issues around direct um, conflict. Uh, we go there to do advocates and of course we do direct level kind of intervention to, in terms of uh, mediation between conflicting parties, um, depending on the nature of the conflict. The National Early Warning Center engages primarily through its flagship peace building program, the Concord Initiative. Uh, through that initiative, we've created networks, uh, localized networks of early warning and early response actors at the state level, as well as at the local level. Uh, our aim is to be able to connect both state actors and non-state actors, I, I must stress, uh, civil society organizations, community-based organizations, as well as formal government institutions, all of whom are within the peace and security sector. So we see an opportunity now to engage in capacity building, both at that communal level, but to link that to more sustained and more permanent and more structured uh, capacity building of local government entities, bringing these two entities together um, to amplify their potential at the grassroots in terms of peace building. When communities are equipped with the right skills and knowledge, they possess the power to build and sustain peace. 